Exercise 1B, review the formula you're probably familiar with, and then ask you to transpose it. And then having found the transposed version, find a value for W or the width, if you like, given the length and the perimeter. Now, in the first instance, it's simply a plug and sub, where I'm substituting 16 and 5. So it becomes 2 times 21, or 42 centimetres. In part B, you're asked to transpose in order to find the expression for W. Now, when I do this, I have to expand out the right-hand side. Or 2W is P, take 2L. Dividing both sides by 2, we end up with W is P minus 2L over, over 2, which can also be written as P over 2 minus L. Now, armed with that information, I could use this transposed version in order to find the width of the rectangle with a perimeter of 560 and a length of 240. So I'm just plugging those numbers in. So 2's into 560 go 280, less 240, or W is equal to 40 millimetres in this case. Sorry, centimetres. Looking at number 7 now, in 7a you're asked to make F the subject. So what I'll do here, I'm just going to fix up my left hand side. So what I've got to do, I'm going to multiply that by V over V and the 1 over V by U over U. So therefore V over UV plus U over UV is 1 over F. So therefore V plus U over UV is 1 over F. Now what follows will be a double transposition. I'm just going to multiply the F through. And then multiply like so. And then grab the V plus U and divide it. So F is equal to U plus V over, so it should be UV, UV over V plus U as my final answer. In part B, I'm asked to find U as my subject. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transpose, take the 1 over V to the other side. As it did before, a bit of cross multiplying on the right hand side to get the, the lowest common denominator of VF becomes V, take F over FV. And as we saw before, or U is equal to FV over V take F. Very similar process to what we followed in the part A. Now at this point, to do part C, how far from the lens is the image from the objects 30 centimetres in front? So, in other words, I'm asked in C to find U when the object, which is V, 30, is 25 centimetres in front. So that's 30 times 25, and that's divided by 30 plus 25. Should have been take 25. So I end up with 30 lots of 25 which is 750, divided by 5, and that will give me the distance of 150 centimetres in this instance. Now take time to review the methodology in these questions, and when your confidence is up, you're ready to commence the assignment work.